psychrometrics, as we saw, is a relatively abstract science, right? A, a lot of the measurements cannot really be verified. For example, I can't verify meter cube per kgs. Uh, I can't verify, for example, things like enthalpy. These are all abstract uh, notions. How do we then get students to really empathize and see this as pivotal for being thoughtful building designers, right? How do you build motivation? So this is an activity you can conduct with your students to get them interested in the idea of psychrometrics, right? Okay, so this activity is you can simulate the climatic conditions of various cities in classrooms, right? So say, you know, on a certain day in the week on Tuesday at two o'clock, you're going to have a psychrometrics class. What you could do is you could have your students first play around with the temperature, humidity and cooling uh, parameters operating in different rooms and get the students to experience these rooms and try to estimate which city this feels like. Right? This gives, will give them a, a real uh, kinetic and tactile understanding of the psychrometric chart. It won't just be a two-dimensional sheet of paper. They will actually be able to imagine where are they in the psychrometric chart. Are they moving to the left? Are they moving to the right? Depending on which room they are in. Right? So this is an activity that uh, you could undertake to build uh, concern and empathy. All right. Continuing further, to be able to get more excitement and interest in your students about psychrometry, rather than just giving them values uh, for worked examples or problem sets, why not use actual measurement instruments such as a sling psychrometer? These are relatively inexpensive to buy and can even actually be constructed from regular thermometers. These could be used by students to do some sort of movement and actually go around perhaps on the campus and measure these uh, psychrometric parameters for different rooms. They can even have interesting games around this. Does the, you know, for example, principal's office have better psychrometric conditions than the rooms that are meant for the students? Usually this disparity is, is a very rich opportunity for students to uh, get excited about measuring these things. Um, yes, so this is a, another teaching aid you could use for building interest and concern for psychrometry. This concludes our training on this idea of air, temperature and the mixture of moisture with dry air and we will continue our training with building physics from here on. If you have other questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us uh, on our email addresses or through our portal fairconditioning.org. Thank you.